Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We will continue chapter 5. We lecture 4 or 5. At the end of the lecture, you should be able to use algebraic approach or horizontal line test to determine whether a function is one to one. Second, determine the inverse of a function if it exists. Next is find the domain and range of an inverse function. And finally, sketch the graph of the function and its inverse on the same axis. Inverse function. The inverse function exists if and only if a function is one to one function. If f is a function from a to b, then an inverse function for f is a function in the opposite direction from b to a. Thus, if n input x into the function produce an output y, then putting y into the inverse function f produce the input the output x. So this one based on these diagrams x here is the input for function f and the output is y so we may write this one as fx equals to y on the other hand y is the input for f inverse and the outcome is x we may write this one as f phi to x this one is a function this one is inverse function two methods to determine whether a function is one to one function by using so first one is algebraic method second one is graphical method for algebraic method so basically this one we need to perform a simple calculation cal calculation and for graphical method obviously we need a graph and from the graph we will apply HLT which is horizontal line test for properties of inverse we have five properties here please remember so first one is domain of f equals to range of f inverse second one is range of f equals to domains of f inverse third one is f inverse inverse equals to f fourth one is f inverse composed with fx equals to x or f composed with f inverse x equals to x and finally f composed g inverse equals to g inverse composed f inverse next one a many to one function can have an inverse by restricting the domain of the function so that it is one to one especially quadratic okay. now we start off with the algebraic method a function f with a domain is called a one to one function if no two elements of x have the same image that is fx1 cannot equal to fx2 for x1 for x1 does not equal to x2 to prove that a function f is one to one we must show that fx1 equals to fx2 implies that x1 equals to x2 what does it mean here so to show one to one functions we need to start off with 
fx1 equals to fx2 then we perform a calculation make sure we have finally we have x1 equals to x2 if we found this one then we can we can conclude that this one is one to one function other than this one the function is not one to one so we have example here example 5.16 by using algebraic method determine whether f is one to one function or not algebraic method so we need calculation so this one calculation so a for a function fx equals to 2x plus 3 x is elements of real number so for a so we let fx1 equals to 2x1 plus 3 and fx2 equals to 2x2 plus 3 again we need to show we start off with start with start with fx1 equals to fx2 so we substitute fx1 which is 2x1 plus 3 equals to 2x2 plus 3 then we simplify so we have 2x1 equals to 2x2 simplify again we have x1 equals to x2 okay so we start off with fx1 equals to fx2 and here down here we have x1 equals to x2 so therefore we can conclude since fx1 equals to fx2 implies x1 equals to x2 therefore fx equals to 2x2 2x plus 3 is 1 to 1 function there is example A we have fx equals to x square and x is elements of real number so B uh, we start straight away start with fx1 equals to fx2 x1 square equals to x2 square this one is x1 square minus x2 square equals to 0 so x1 minus x2 x1 plus x2 equals to 0 so we have x1 minus x2 equals to 0 and x1 equals to x2 or we have x1 plus x2 equals to 0 and x1 equals to negative x2 here we, we still started with fx1 equals to fx2 but down here we have 2 first one is x1 equals to x2 and second one we have x1 equals to negative x2 2. so what we can conclude here since fx1 equals to fx2 implies x1 equals to x2 and x1 equals to negative x2 so therefore fx equals to x square is not a 1 to 1 
function and we have seen now we have fx equals to x square but now the domain is x greater than equals to zero this one c fx equals to x square okay start with fx1 equals to fx2 this one we have x1 square equals to x2 square this one we have x1 square minus x2 square equals to 0 so x1 minus x2 x1 plus x2 equals to 0 so we have x1 equals to x2 or x1 equals to negative x2 right but this one we can conclude since x is greater than or equals to 0 we ignore x1 equals to negative x2 we can conclude now since fx1 equals to fx2 implies x1 equals to x2 therefore fx equals to x x greater than equals to 0 is 1 to 1 function then c uh, for the second method graphical method the graph of a one to one function does not have the same y coordinate for two different x coordinate on the graph consequently if a horizontal line intersect the graph y equals to f x at more than one point then f is not one to one function not one to one function since there are two different value of x namely x1 and x2 such that fx1 equals to fx2 what does it mean so if you have a horizontal line cuts the graph at one point then the f is a one to one function example 5.17 use graphical method to determine whether each of the following function is one to one function so question a we have fx equals to 2x minus 1 and x is elements of real number so for graphical method we need to sketch graph okay. and this one by now you know this one is linear Right, so sketch this graph so you have this one so label this one x label this one as x right where is the line so this one is straight line here so label this one as f x equals to 2x minus 1 and this one is x intercept which is half and your y intercept is negative 1 right so draw a horizontal line so i use the dotted line to draw horizontal line so this one okay horizontal line horizontal line test okay so we 
look here the horizontal line test cut the graph only at one point here right so therefore we can conclude since horizontal line cuts the graph at one point therefore fx equals to 2x minus 1 is a 1 to 1 function that is example a next one is example b right so we have fx equals to x minus 2 power of 2 plus 3 so this one you know this one is quadratic okay and it has min minimum point which is 2 3 okay and the shape is this way right so we sketch this graph label this one as x label this one as fx right so uh, y intercept is 7 you substitute x equals to 0 in this equation and you should have y intercept is 0 y excuse me y intercept 7 7 okay. so I try to sketch here So this one is two and three and seven. Okay, let me label the graph. So fx equals to x minus two power of two plus two. Right. So this one uh, we draw the horizontal line. So I use the dotted line again. So horizontal line test and we see that the horizontal line test cut the graph at two points or more than one point so we can conclude that since this LT cuts the graph at more than one point therefore fx equals to x minus 2 power of 2 plus 3 is not a 1 to 1 function done we're done with this